uh, we're super excited. So it's day one of the build, the proper build, not the buying of the things and the planning of the things. We're actually physically starting to do things now. Uh, so I'm on the grinder. I'm cutting up all the steel for Mr. Pickles, for Luke. Uh, he's going to be getting on the welding. So stage one for us is we're going from the ground up. We're building the trailer from the beginning. Um, so Mr. Pickles ordered in a trailer kit. So that's where we're starting. We're building the chassis. Uh, we're building the trailer, um, which is brilliant because we know that it's going to be strong and reliable. Um, and we know that, you know, that's the most important part of a tiny house build, really. You've got to have a really solid trailer that's going to last. Otherwise, you know, in a few years, you're in trouble or you're on the road and you get in trouble on the road. Uh, so super, super vital. And because we're doing the work and Mr. Pickles is a pro, uh, we're very confident that it's going to go super well. Uh, yeah, really happy about building it from the ground up. The last build that I did, uh, I actually bought the trailer uh, and we built um, on top of the trailer. So I am stoked that we're doing the build in its entirety. We got the number plate, which is quite exciting. So um, yeah, I guess that was a reality point for me when I saw the number plate. I was like, wow, this project is on. <laughs> mm. So we've got galvanized steel, so on the ends where the welds are going to need to go, I'm going to be grinding off all the galve so that then, then Mr. Pickles can weld it on. Um, haven't been on a grinder since my last build, which was three years ago, so um, I'm super stoked about being on the grinder, which is great for Luke because he really doesn't like cutting steel. So between the two of us, we're making a great team. Um, I'm pretty fresh at it now because I've not done it for so long, so not sure how I'm going to be feeling in like a week's time. Like genuine sweat from hard work, genuine moustache from, uh, <laughs> from all the welds, absolutely mucky ass. Uh, there's Mr. Pickles in the background, he's just drawing up the design. So, going to be welding it together, firstly I'll be tacking it, so I'll be tacking these bits on, tack everything together, obviously across there's a lot of tacks. Uh, next thing I'll be welding it. What I want to do to avoid distorting the steel, when you put a lot of concentrated a lot of heat into one area of steel, it'll bow really badly and then you end up with something that isn't square and um, is really hard to deal with in the future. So when I'm looking at my 100 by 50, sort of like this, I'll be welding a bit here, a bit here, probably do a top run there and a back run as well. Um, on the background which you can't see, then another bit there and I'll be zigzagging around the place this is going to get very crazy all of a sudden <laughs> zigzagging around to disperse the heat throughout the whole trailer so that everything just sort of moves and settles and doesn't end up going all over the show um, and that's kind of the key to working with steel don't put too much heat into one spot, it'll be sweet um, Part of our prep that we've done with our cutting and taking the galve off where I'm going to weld. The reason why I'm taking that off, that protective galve coating, is because zinc, which, um, which the steel is treated with, burns at a lower temperature um, or melt, has a lower melting point than steel, and we don't want that zinc corrupting the weld. So that's why we're taking it all off. Once I've run the welds on the trailer, we'll put a protective coat of um, CRC zinc spray over the top of all the worlds to reprotect it from the elements. It's going well and we make a good team and I am super stoked, which I've said like five million times. But yeah, it's going to be great. Happy to be back in my overalls, getting sweaty, covered in muck. It's my happy place. So yeah, uh, stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on the progress. Thanks for watching. Bye.